dog. Okay, okay, I'll spawn in just 240. <laughs> we should try and absolutely flood this thing because, of course, that's the most sensible idea in the world. Let's just do a few more. Whoa, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, oh my goodness, look at this. I've broken it again. Hello, everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. In today's video, we're going to check out three unbelievable creations. This is the Super Mega Marble Run. Super Mega. That is an infinitely looping track in the sky, and last but not least, dog. This is called Super Mega Marble Run, and for good reason, because look at the size of it. It is massive, okay? So what we're gonna do is send the marbles down it straight away, and here is the start line. This is sort of invisible track here with a lot of RGB going on. Um, but yeah, let's just put some in. And how many, okay, so it spawns in a lot to begin with. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna spawn in more than that. I think that's probably 180. Can check up here, yeah, 180 marbles. Let's spawn in some more. Oh, that is pretty satisfying. Check that out. I'm going to put thousands in here. We're not going to go too crazy, but apparently the track can actually take 25,000 marbles if your PC can handle it. But uh, I don't want to blow anything up, so we're just going to be slightly conservative here. But that is a lot, isn't it? That's over 2,000 marbles now. Let's just do a few more. Whoa, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, okay. <laughs> right, they're going down. Wow, look at the board. So it's just a board with uh, nails in it, right? And they're all like, oh, that's so cool to watch. And then there's, how many tracks have we got here? One, two, three, four, five tracks they're splitting off to go down. Okay, so, oh, yes. The tracks are 100% populated by marble. Somebody, is somebody stuck there? No, it's all okay. It's all good. Everybody is getting down just fine at the moment. Where are they? Oh, look at this. And they're all pouring off here. And they're all filing onto this track, which is absolutely loaded with booster pads. Look at that. And they're all going into the volcano. We've also got an upside down volcano, by the way, guys, which is above this one. Um, but loads of marbles are still coming down here. Let's have a look at the volcano. Oh, my goodness me. So <laughs> here is a, uh, a sort of anti-gravity pad, I suppose you call that, wouldn't you? Yeah, a gravity pad, I think. 0 0.6 of negative gravity. Um, and they're going up out of the volcano. Where next, though? Oh, I see. Uh, so some of them are going onto the track and carrying on. The other ones are actually going back down into the volcano. Look how many are over here as well. I reckon they're going to be there for ages. There's thousands of them down there. So let's follow these ones and see where they go next. Uh, down here, okay, so it splits off into two and sort of curves around. We've got some funnels here as well. Really nice colors as well. I do I do enjoy that. But I can't get over how many marbles there are in that volcano. The game time has slowed down a bit. Let's just try and put it up to normal. Below target FPS, slow, oh, okay, guys, we put in a bit too many now. Anyway, that's all right, we can carry on. It's just gonna be uh, sort of slow motion. Uh, right, when, okay, so they all come off these bits of track um, and back onto the same straight here and head down. So let's see where they go next. This is actually the base of the volcano, so we're now underneath the volcano here. And by the way, I will turn the names of the marbles on. We have uh, 129 uh, marbles named after my viewers. And if you'd like a marble named after you, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and add you in for the next video. But now let's see what happens when they get up these escalators here. So the, the left one is loaded, the right one not so much. But they can go in separate directions, actually. That's interesting. These ones are going round here. Oh, they all actually meet up on this part anyway. They're going to go here, loads of boosters, and onto a jump. Okay, so wow, they're jumping through the air into this board that has a tube in the middle of it. And I guess if they're lucky, they get to go down the tube. If not, where are they going then if they go down here? Okay, so the ones that don't get through the hole go up the escalator and down here. I guess that might be a bit of a slower route, but let's just see what happens if they go through the tube. We're actually going to go through there ourselves. I'll just slow the uh, the speed down a bit. It's an RGB tube here. Okay, and then where do they go? Down here and up really fast, I imagine, because there's, uh, here we go, loads. Of, so that is, at, that is in slow motion, right? So <laughs> in real time, they'd be going a lot faster, but that is quick, isn't it? They are moving quick up there. And then onto this track, which I believe is where 
the ones that didn't go through the tube are meeting them as well. Yes, yeah, so they're all going onto the same spiral now down here into another funnel. And this funnel is, is that's another um, gravity pad there with negative one gravity. Okay, so they're going to go maybe upside down onto this piece of track as well here. Like, there we go. Got some upside down marbles going up the spiral here. That's a nice color actually, isn't it? That blue. I do like that color. And uh, going round here onto another funnel, which is upside down. Okay, it must take like 10 minutes <laughs> for us to get around here. Look at the volcano, it's still loaded. It's, yeah, that is, uh, that is a packed volcano for sure. Um, just constantly marbles are going up out of it. And if I turn names on in here, there are a lot of you. Anyway, let's... Uh... <laughs> Let's try and go back to this funnel and see what's going on over there. Right, lots of them are up here now. And actually, yes, they're actually falling off the center of the funnel and going along the track again. So let's just keep an eye on that here. They're going down the spiral. By the way, guys, everything that we see in today's video can be found on the Steam Workshop. And I'm going to leave links in the description below. So you can follow those links if you want to and check out uh, all of these amazing creations yourselves. And when they get to the bottom of this spiral here, they, they're actually going back up it again in reverse and upside down. So uh, if we just turn the names off, we can see how that works. So, so here's the end of the spiral. Yeah, look, they're, so they're sort of uh, losing gravity. Or again, there's negative gravity here, negative one. And they're going back up the spiral in reverse. Should we follow somebody? If I just pause it for a second, let's follow uh, awesome Liam 1000, all right? We'll follow Liam. And uh, there we go. <laughs> We're going up the spiral now. Wait a minute, are we in first person or third person? I'm not quite sure. Let's turn off the uh, the HUD. We're still going back up again. Oh, I'm getting dizzy, guys. Is anyone else getting dizzy going up the spiral? <laughs> I definitely am. And uh, we must be near the top now. Here we go. We're at the top. Uh, what's happening next? Oh, dear. I better get out of there. Okay, here we go. Oh no, onto another funnel. Wow, okay, uh, again, upside down, of course. And uh, when they get to the middle of that, there is a tube which they go up and along here. They're still upside down at this point. And here is the upside down volcano, which must be, uh, I'm assuming it's identical, just upside down. However, yeah, again, there's actually a gravity pad. So when they get to that, they're gonna fall down. And, oh, here we go. We can see some of them falling down, actually. But where do they go next? They don't just fall into that volcano again, do they? Let's just have a look here. Can we figure out where they're going? I'm going to slow it down quite a lot here so we can detect. I think that one, that one's actually gone the wrong way. Oh, this is where they must go. Yes, here we go. Look, somebody's got through there. Marble 874 has got onto the right bit of track. So the lucky ones can go down this track. The unlucky ones go back to the start of the volcano again. I definitely spawned in too many marbles. <laughs> is Alfred? Is Alfred going to make it? Oh, no, Alfred has not made it. Well, Marble 505 has made it. So let's just follow Marble 505 now and see where they go. If we just carry on here. So we'll follow that one. So it goes down the tube here um, and through another tunnel. Uh, okay, interesting. Right, around here. That's a really narrow tunnel, isn't it? I wonder where that ends up then. Oh, look, we've got some more. We've got some more. Where does that lead to? Oh, right. It's sort of a table uh, sort of marble run. What do you call these things? I don't know. A bit like a pinball machine, isn't it? But for marbles, I suppose, that's really, really nice. So it is standing on the floor. Uh, hang on. Let's just turn the names off. Okay, that's better. Now we can see what's going on. Um, so there are a few obstacles with boosters. That's really, really cool design. I do like that a lot. Um, and where do these ones go then? Back round. So I suppose if they're lucky... They get to go down this. Yeah, here we go. So here's the next part of the track. But it's quite tricky to get there, it looks like. Okay, so some of them are actually going down here. Let's follow them down now. We're going down the Rainbow Road. Uh, around the corner and over a skateboard. Oh, actually, not quite over a skateboard because there's an invisible escalator right here, which is taking them up to the top. So, ah, no, now now we've got to the, uh, the, the Marble City. Are they going to go in there? Yes, they are. Right, so under the barrier into the marble city who is this <laughs> pea shooter gaming is now in the city we've got a few stuck as well ian is there uh rainbow is stuck that's a shame uh there's pat coming through the the junction the crossroads so i don't know where they go after the city but it looks like they could stay in here for a while if they get stuck 
Um, but let's see. Oh, there's a tube here, right? So that that must be going. That's interesting. Do they get into the tube from the city? Here's the track underneath, anyway. And so what happens is they go down here. Yeah, we've got like Mason is there, uh, going down it right now, and they go into the tube here. So that's literally underneath the city. Up the tube. And there we go, into this big sort of glass enclosure here, and they're bouncing around in there. If we just turn the names off, you can see them, yeah, bouncing up and down in that. And then they can go in this tube if they are just sort of close enough. Look at that down the end. What is that? What is this? Okay, it's spinners. So <laughs> loads of spinners at the end of the tube. I can't believe it. This is only the first creation we're having a look at today, and it's enormous. We've still got two more things, guys, to, to come after this as well. So there's plenty more content to be shown in today's video, but this is a good way to start, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, the spinners are actually moving, so some of them are getting through. Uh, I don't know how they're getting through that, but they, they certainly are. Look at that. You can see them there. And what happens next? Is that another funnel? Yes, it looks like... Ah yes, okay, so there's a funnel here which is sort of transparent, and then they go down the hole, along the track. Uh, oh, that's it. Okay, so this is actually the end, guys. We've now got to the end of the track or the race here. So let's just have a look here um, at who got there first. You can see the, the line at the end there is who's sort of won this race, if we can call it a race at this point. Uh, it's pretty chaotic, isn't it? But... The <laughs> But yeah, we've got more filing in behind now. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Imagine having like 2,000 marbles in there at the same time. Well, I'm sure in a minute we are going to see that sort of chaos ensuing as more and more are piling into it. With the names on it, it looks a whole lot more crazy than it does without. But even that, look how cool that is. It's, it's a sort of thing you could look at for ages and it'd be quite entertaining, wouldn't it? These rainbow marbles are really standing out as well. That's really nice. Um, loads more. Look how many are in the city as well and loads on the track. Let's have a look at the volcano for a second. Whoa, okay, okay. Both of the volcanoes are still packed with marbles, although, of course, there are less in here now. But these have been here the whole time. Uh, <laughs> They still haven't gone out since the beginning of the of the race. And the finishing pack is slowly increasing in size. If anybody knows where they're going from the city to get to the end, let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, that has been quite, quite the, uh, the start of the video. What an amazing creation this was. But now it's time to go and have a look at the next marble run. And this is what we see when we load up this marble run. And of course, the sign is telling us, heads up, we need to look up and see what's in the sky, I guess. Have a look up here. And yep, there is a marble run in the sky. <laughs> now, this one is actually really, really interesting because it kind of, it starts up here, right? It's really long. And basically, all the marbles go the whole way down it and then back again. And it's, I think it's a big sort of loop, so they can keep going around forever. But yeah, here is the start line. So let's spawn in some marbles. I think, I think we need a bit more than that, don't we? I mean, possibly we are only meant to spawn in this many because maybe that suits the track. But of course, in true Mr. Stixman fashion, we have to cause as much chaos as possible, right? So let's just spawn in some more here. And maybe, oh no, they're all going to go down track already. Oh no, no, come back. Hang on, no, stop. <laughs> it's starting too soon. Right, let's just put the barriers down. Hang on, uh, uh, okay, hang on a minute. Right, let's put the barriers down. Okay, there we go, and we're spawning some more as well. Oh no, hang on a minute. They're all getting, there's a big traffic jam up the top and some of them, some of them have got down, but I, oh no. Uh, <laughs> we've made a bit of a mistake here. I reckon we should actually restart this and not go quite so crazy this time. Right, let's just respawn them. Right then, let's do this again and try and be a bit more sensible. I mean, I am going to spawn in more, but we'll wait for these ones to get out of the way first. So let's put the barriers down and send them on their way. So now they're going to go all the way down to the other end of this run. And, uh, oh, hang on a minute, let's put some more in, hang on. Just wait till they get past the ramp and then put some more in. Oh no, some of them are a bit slow down there. We've got to be really careful here. I'm not sure how much this is at the moment. Okay, 1,200 so far. Let's put a couple of thousand in and then we'll go and watch them. But uh, 1,600, 1,920. Okay, one more to get over 2,000. There we go. That's about perfect, I reckon. 
So, oh, look, we've still got some traffic jams here in the middle, actually, but not on the outside edge. We've got some more here. Oh, no, we've really messed this up, haven't we? I've broken it again. Okay, okay, I'll spawn in just 240. <laughs> I'm not going to put any more in than 240 because we might ruin it otherwise, but this time... <laughs> <laughs> this time we're doing it actually properly okay here we go then down these it's really actually quite satisfying to see this they're all going down jumps and up ramps and everything it's really pretty cool and i think we must have some invisible yeah we've got some invisible uh, boards here just to keep everybody on the track otherwise everybody would be falling off i'm pretty sure by now um, okay, this is like the center point. So what happens here then? Oh, I see. So they're going upside down. Right, so they're now upside down. Going up the other side. Oh, okay, we are still getting a few stuck here, but not many, to be fair, not many. And uh, do you know what? I am going to spawn in some more right now because we're way away from the start, aren't we? So let's do that. And... Okay, and this is the other end, so look how long this track is. It's so far away that you can't even see it. The graphics don't render the other end of the track. Look at that. You just see it sort of popping in there. Um, but yeah, now we're going back this way. So they're actually up uh, the right way up this time as they go back. Um, or least, yes, I think they are anyway. Yeah, here we go. Let's follow someone around. Should we follow this one and just see if they get to the end or not? That's Sparta there. Okay. Right, please get to the end. <laughs> These jumps are amazing. I really wish though, because if I press anything right now, um, it's going to quit camera mode and now we're actually underneath the track again. But yeah, if I press any key, any mouse button, um, uh, it'll exit camera mode. Oh no, Sparta got stuck and I think that's the only person who... Oh no, hang on a minute. No, look, we have got some marbles here who have got right back to the start again and are going through for a second time. Right, okay, let's just spawn it. I, I'm fed up with this now. I, ju I just have to have thousands of marbles. It's the only way forward, guys. There we go, 5,000. <laughs> oh, no, I've broken it. Okay, we just lost a bit of FPS here. Oh, let's just try and spawn in loads, see what happens. Can we force... Oh, my goodness. Try and force them down it. Uh... This is not good news <laughs> for the game. My computer is refusing to cooperate at the moment. Uh, that is 10,000 marbles we now have on the track. And actually, some of them are getting through. Look, our plan oh, our plan has worked. The camera's going a bit quick. Um, yes, we have succeeded. Look at, look at the track down there. Uh, oh, look at that. So th that's all shadow. <laughs> All the shadowy parts are marbles. Check that out. That is amazing. It looks like it's raining or like hailstones or something. Anyway, guys, now let's go and have a look at the next marble run for today's video. All right, here we go then, back in the garden. And uh, as you can see, we've got this really cool marble run here, but there's a special feature, which is why I chose it. And that feature is dog now i don't know what the name of this dog is but i'm just going to call it dog for now <laughs> so we've got this dog here and uh, the dog actually eats marbles okay so that's fantastic we're going to see that happen they go off here through this tube launch out of it and into the dog's mouth and we're going to have to go down inside there and see what happens to the marbles when they go through but we've got to start first of all so let's go where is the start line actually oh here it is so here is the start of the race and uh, it's on the roof of the house here, right? So let's just put the barriers down and see what happens. But it is quite a nice track, isn't it? There's a massive half pipe up there. This sort of uh, yellow and black coloured one. Um, and a honeycomb style funnel here as they all go down the track onto it. Whoa, okay, all going down the tube at the same time. This is madness here. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, so we've got bits of honeycomb which are just slowing everybody down. Probably so they don't fall off the actual spiral here but that's quite interesting we've got some cylinders these cylinder shapes are new in the game as well as of uh, a recent update i just can't wait to see what happens when they get into the dog that's what i want to see uh but the track is very cool let's see what happens next uh, we've got some funnels here and they're going to go down onto the grass track underneath them eventually I, I could spawn in some more marbles actually i wonder if i should do that it might get a bit chaotic should we do it anyway I've only got 900 up here, so let's put in another 900. Uh, you know, we might as well. <laughs> we might as well put in some more. So they're going up the tube now. And yes, into the half pipe. Look at that. That's really cool. So they, yeah, okay, they go off the ramp here. And then into the half pipe. Oh, it looks a bit weird, the painting, just because there's so many blocks involved. 
but that's a very nice half pipe, I have to say. When they get off the half pipe, they go onto this bit of red track. So there they go. 1,800 marbles right now. And down here, big cylinder in the middle, small cylinders as well, and bounce pads, which I, uh, I've never actually used those myself before. Uh, down here, oh here we go guys, into the tube, and this is where we get to see what happens when they go into the dog's mouth and get eaten. So, <laughs> let's follow them in, shall we? Let's go into the dog's mouth and, uh, oh my goodness, right, there's a big funnel in here. Very well done, I have to say, and is anyone else coming? Yeah, we've got an orange marble coming down there, a few more on the way. They go onto the funnel... And, oh, somebody said, are they going to get, yes, they got knocked. I don't know who that was. We can put the names on for a second. Now let's go down the funnel. Everybody is coming in now. Is going to get very crowded in here very quickly. Look at this. Oh, of course, it's the second round of uh, 900 marbles, isn't it? That's why. So they are catching up. Yes, we've got thousands of them here. Uh, <laughs> let's follow them round now. There's me, actually. I've got my marble as well down there. Let's go back here. So now we're inside the dog. This is the body of the dog. If I just go outside quickly, you can see where we are. There's the tail at the end. Um, so it's a big dog, actually. That's a huge dog. It's a giant one. <laughs> it's a giant dog. Um, and, okay. So down a spiral and... Uh, ah! <laughs> we are exiting through the exit hole at the end of the dog. Okay, I see how that works. Um... Through some plants, which is a nice section, actually. I do like that. That's really cool. Okay, so they go down the sort of s bends here into the tube. And, ah, now there's a big bowl. Is it a bowl? Would you call that a bowl? I'm not sure. There's a big bowl up here. And everybody is filtering down. That's a... I really like that bowl, actually. Is anyone else... I think that's everybody has gone through this section pretty much. You know those sort of coloured straws that you can get? Uh, to drink out of. They're probably a real pain to wash up. <laughs> but uh, that that uh, bit of track there reminds me of those straws that you can get. That's really cool, isn't it? Back onto a spiral track, and this is the beginning again. Isn't that fantastic? So, of course, the dog being uh, the sort of most characterful feature of this track, but overall, it's really nice. We've got this big bowl here, um, the half pipe as well. I really enjoy that. And, of course, it works very well too. I can't see anybody... Oh no, wait, lots of people have fallen off, I'm afraid. Oh no. <laughs> Just before we finish, I reckon we should try and absolutely flood this thing. Because, of course, that's the most sensible idea in the world. <laughs> so, oh wow, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, what's happening here? Oh, they're being held up by the axes. Look, we've got some axes here. That's why it's not quite so quick going down. That's alright. Um... Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> That's over 5,000 marbles now. Oh no, I've pressed F again by mistake. I'm doing that, guys. Instead of pressing D to make the camera go right like this, I'm pressing F by mistake and spawning in more. So that's why <laughs> that's why we now have over 6,000 marbles going into the half pipe. Here's the name. So uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's going to slow down the computer even more if I've got names on. But uh, isn't that really cool? We've still got loads coming down the track here. Uh, there's still loads at the start. Look at this. Everybody is... Most of them are even back at the start still. That's incredible. Look, they've only just got off the track at the beginning. I suppose some of them are actually coming around from the end. But this is what I wanted to do, right? Is get thousands of them uh, eaten by the dog. And that's what's happening right now. So let's go over here and just watch that happening. We are probably in yeah, <laughs> slow motion right now. There we go, that's really slow motion at the moment. That's as slow as you can go. And uh, just tons and tons of marbles going into the dog there to get eaten. It's going to be a full dog. I mean, you know, the thing is though, that dog, it goes in one end and out the other really quickly, doesn't it? So I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not sh quite sure if the dog is actually going to get full or not, ever. But um, isn't that, that is, a, that is a cool dog, isn't it? That is, that is a good dog. That is a good dog. I like that one. I like that one a lot. That's good. Very, very good. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you'd like me to name a marble after you in future videos, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. But with all that being said, thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.